Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. In this episode of CBSE Board Exam, we'll be dealing with previous year questions of mathematics in CBSE Board Exams. The chapter that we'll be dealing with is the sixth chapter in the grade 12 syllabus for CBSE. The name of the chapter is three-dimensional geometry. Come, let's look at our first question. Write the distance of the point P A comma B comma C from the X axis. So how do you attempt this question? A comma B comma C are the coordinates. And when we compare them with X comma Y comma Z, you'll notice that X is equal to A, Y is equal to B, and Z is equal to C. Now, for a point P on the X, Y, and Z axis, its distance from the origin on the X axis is A. So that means the coordinates of P, the coordinates of a point Q, which is corresponding to P at X axis So what that means is that if this point is P, the point here is Q and it's corresponding to it, it's on a straight line. So that will have the coordinates A comma zero comma zero because there is, it's found on the X axis. So to find the distance of point P from the X axis, we'll find the distance of the line PQ. So since P has ABC and Q has A00, we'll use the distance formula. So that is D is equal to A minus A, the whole square, plus zero minus B, the whole square. That is how we put it when you know the values. The general formula here is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square. And we put that under a big root. So on putting the values of d, so the distance is between p and q. So we put the coordinates of p and q x2 is the x-coordinate of q, which is a, minus x1 is the x-coordinate of p, which is again a, so a minus a the whole square, plus y2, that is the y-coordinate of q, which is 0, minus b is the y-coordinate of p, that is y1, the whole square, plus 0 minus c, the whole square, the whole root. So Solving the brackets, we'll get a minus a as 0 plus minus b the whole square plus minus c the whole square. So for a positive or the negative value, the square will always be positive. So we'll get 0 plus b square plus c square the whole root. So the distance pq is b square plus c square, the whole root. So this is the distance between p and x axis, root of b square plus c square. Next question. If the Cartesian equation of a line is three minus x by five, y plus four by seven, and two z minus six by four, then write the vector equation of the line. So the general formula for a Cartesian equation is x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b, which is equal to z minus z1 by c equal to lambda. 
So you see that there is a little bit of difference, so we need to convert it to standard form. So 3 minus x by 5 can be converted into minus of x minus 3 by 5. y plus 4 by 7 is in standard form. And since there is 2z, we have to convert it to standard form, which has only z. So it becomes z minus 6 by 2 divided by 4 by 2 because we're dividing by 2 on all sides. So this minus now goes to the denominator. So our Cartesian equation will be x minus 3 by minus 5, which is equal to y plus 4 by 7, which is equal to z minus 6 by 2 is 3 divided by 4 by 2 is 2. So z minus 3 by 2, which is equal to lambda. So these two are similar. So we compare it with the standard equation. So we get this value x minus 3 by minus 5 is equal to y minus y plus 7 by 7 y plus 4 by 7 which is equal to z minus 3 by 2 equal to lambda so on comparing with standard form we'll get x1 equals 3 x2 equals minus 4. So how minus 4? Since it's x minus 3, so that is x2 minus x minus x1. So x1 has to be positive, so, so it will be x minus x1. If it becomes x plus x1, then x1 will, no, will be negative because x minus minus x1 becomes x plus x1. So y plus 4 by 7 will be equal to y minus minus 4 by 7. So that will be y1 equal to minus 4. And z1 will be equal to 3. And a equals minus 5, b equals 7, c equals 2. Those are the same denominators in the Cartesian equation. So now we know a, b, c, x1, y1, z1. So we should be writing the equation in a vector form. So the vector form is like this. r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar. Where a bar is the equation x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap. And vector b is equal to a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap. So when we put the values, we get a bar is equal to 3 i cap minus 4 j cap plus 3 k cap and vector b as minus 5 i cap plus 7j cap plus 2k cap. So now r bar will be a plus lambda b. So we'll put the value of a. So 3i cap minus 4j cap plus 3k cap plus lambda into minus 5i cap plus 7j cap plus 2k cap. So that is the vector equation of the line 3 minus x by 5, y plus 4 by 7, and 2z minus 6 by 4. So the vector equation of that is 3i minus 4j plus 3k plus lambda into minus 5i plus 7j plus 2k. Now, the next question. Find the direction cosines of the line 4 minus x by 2 is equal to y by 6 is equal to 1 minus z by 3. So now let's convert this into standard form. Standard form is x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b which is equal to z minus z1 by c. 
So 4 minus x becomes minus of x minus 4 divided by 2. And since there is nothing here, we put y minus 0 divided by 6. So y minus 0 is the same as y. And then 1 minus z undergoes this tra same treatment. So minus of z minus 1 divided by 3. So it becomes x minus 4 by minus 2 is equal to y minus 0 by 6 is equal to z minus 1 by minus 3. So on comparing with standard form, we'll get a is equal to minus 2, b is equal to 6, c is equal to minus 3. So the quantities A, B, and C are what are known as direction ratios of a line. So A, B, and C are the direction ratios. The question here is asking us to find the direction cosines. So to find direction cosines. So they are represented as L, M, and N. So L is equal to A divided by root of A square plus B square plus C square. This is the formula for the first direction cosine, which will be equal to the value of A is minus 2 divided by minus 2 squared is 4 plus 6 squared is 36 plus minus 3 square is 9, so that is 4 plus 36 plus 9, the whole root, which will be equal to minus 2 by root 49. So therefore, L is equal to minus 2 divided by 7, because root 49 is 7. Similarly, we can find out M. M is equal to B divided by root of A square plus B square plus C square, the whole root. So b is equal to 6 divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square is 7. So m is equal to 6 by 7. And n is the third direction cosine, that is c by a square plus b square plus c square. So that is equal to the value of c is minus 3 divided by the root of a square plus b square plus c square, which is 7. So therefore, n is equal to minus 3 by 7. So our direction cosines are minus 2 by 7, 6 by 7, minus 3 by 7. That is our answer. Moving on to the final question. The equation of the line is 4 minus x by 2 is equal to y plus 3 by 2 is equal to z plus 2 by 1. We have to find the direction cosines of a line which is parallel to the above line. So let's find out the direction ratios of the given line. So on comparing with standard form, x minus x1 by a, y minus y1 by b, z minus z1 by c. So we need to convert this into x minus 4 by minus 2 is equal to y plus 3 by 2, which is equal to z plus 2 by 1. So the x term had to be changed a bit, but now it is clear. So on comparing with the standard form, we'll get a is equal to minus 2, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 1. Our direction ratios. But the question is asking us to find the direction cosines of another line. How do we go about that? There is a clue in the question. The line is parallel to the given line. So in this case, for two lines to be parallel, their direction cosines have to be equal. 
So basically, you only need to calculate the direction cosines of the given line, which will still be the direction cosines of the parallel line because they are parallel. So let's calculate direction cosines of the parallel line. So L is A by A square plus B square plus C square, the whole root. So A is minus 2 divided by A square minus 2 square is 4 plus 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1. And we put that under a root. So that will be minus 2 by root 9. However, root 9 is 3. So L is equal to minus 2 by 3. Same case for M. M is B by root of A square plus B square plus C square, which is equal to 2 by root of A square plus B square plus C square is 3. So M is equal to 2 by 3. And N is equal to C by A square plus B square plus C square, the whole root. So the value of C is 1, and the value of A square plus B square plus C square, the whole root, is 3. So n is equal to 1 by 3. So the direction cosines are minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3, and 1 by 3. So that is the answer to the direction cosines of a line parallel to the above line. So we hope you found this episode interesting. For more useful videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Brain Blitz Audios, and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more useful and interesting content such as learner words, mind maps, stories, need preparation, and of course, more CBSC board exams. To be a part of our journey, please subscribe to our channel. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, ta-ta for now.